Hi, I'm Benjamin Beck, and this is the Beck Law Office's weekly question and answer. The question that we're going to be talking about this week that I often get is, uh, can I drive my vehicle when I still have a lemon law claim? And the short answer is yes. But keep in mind that one of the things uh, the jury will look at, and, and I always kind of consider what the jury will look at, because Ultimately, that's uh, how most attorneys, uh, any good attorney generally will evaluate a case is, is what will a jury conclude. Um, but the jury is going to be allowed to consider um, the way you've used the, the car. And they're going to be able to consider that because substantial impairment of use is one of the criteria that, that they get to look at. And so you can continue to drive your car or truck during a, a lemon law case, um, but just understand that if your use belies you, your claims um, uh, that the defect is basically substantial, then that may weigh against you. For example, um, if you are claiming you have a substantial impairment of the use of your car or truck because the hesitation is slipping and it's causing you to drive it a lot less, but your mileage um, is more or uh, the same as when uh, you were driving the car before you had the defect. Um, you know, that is something that the jury is going to be considered. Is this person really not using this car as much um, because of this defect when they're taking weekly trips to Las Vegas? Um, when looking at their mileage, uh, the, the miles goes up at the end uh, after the defect was discovered, so they're using it actually more. Um, and, you know, not that that many cases go to trial, but the defense lawyers love to put up these charts that show, and they're all sorts of flawed uh, as far as scaling and that sort of thing. But nevertheless, the, they love to put up the chart that shows, you know, an X and a Y axis uh, with the, you know, the, uh, showing the miles, you know, driven here over time. And then there's always a you know, a, a, a sharp angle um, jutting up to indicate that, you know, you're, you're using the, the car a lot, um, even though the way it's kind of portrayed is oftentimes inaccurate. But just know that that is something that the, the dealership can, or the jury rather, can consider. And so as lawyers, we often look at that um, when we're evaluating, you know, the merits of your lemon law case. Um, now, not everybody is blessed with the opportunity to own two cars um, and park their lemon vehicle while they drive the other one primarily. But, um, and, and, and that's understandable. You know, we're, we're in a world where you're dealing with a commuter car and you have to drive it regardless of the situation, perhaps because it's your only car and you have no other transportation means. So you have to kind of put up with it or deal with it as harrowing as that defect might be or as annoying or inconvenient as it might be. Um, but just understand um, that that is something that the, the jury can consider and often uh, it's looked at uh, in evaluating lemon law cases. So that's the question of the week. Uh, if you have any questions that you'd like for me to answer, you can submit those to ben at becklemonlaw.com. Uh, check out my website and you can also subscribe to my channel uh, to say, stay up to date on all uh, information and questions that you might have that come up on the Lemon Law.